Hey guys, welcome back to The Interceptor. We are here with Alliance War Season 51, and this is War Number 1. Matrix has matched up against CIRR. And today I have a very short war. I only have four fights, uh, and we are using the team of Valkyrie, Hood, and my newest Rank 3 7 star, who I have not even posted a video about yet, so you guys don't even know about this. I did take Chielth to Rank 3. I do like Chielth. I really like her. And I was using her a ton last season at rank 2. She took something like half of my fights and she didn't... I didn't die with her a single time. In fact, I didn't even come close yet. Um, or I didn't even come close a single time. But yeah, I've been having a lot of fun using her. This war was a little weird. Because one of the fights I was assigned Chielth for, I thought she was a really bad counter for. So I said to the officer, hey... I really think that this fight's a bad idea. If you send me to this, I'll probably die. So we had to redo a few things. Um, he didn't see the issues with the fight that I saw, uh, but I'm not gonna explain it, but basically there were some issues with the assignment and it could very well have led to a death had I not noticed it. So due to that, I had to bring Valkyrie for this fight here and my team just got changed up a bit. It wasn't really that big of a deal. This is Valkyrie's only fight. She's usually banned with this tactic and I don't really understand why she's not banned. Uh, but this is just a hazard shift MODOK and I'm not gonna play this fight super well. Um, I never get to my special two, so I'm never able to um, to reverse to revert my combo because the AI change made it impossible to do in midair because the opponent will no longer just sit back and hold block they will walk up to you and then they will combo you either in the middle of your four light combo or at the end there I was trying to get him to dash back and block uh, but unfortunately he was just not having it I am gonna eat one more combo and I'm gonna get hit by the end of a special one one more time so it, yeah, it's maybe not the cleanest fight, and I could have played it a lot better. In fact, at this point, I, sh I should have just reverted my combo with an SP1, because that does work just as well. I don't know why I didn't. I think I was just kind of, like, in my head thinking, okay, as soon as I get to special 2, this fight's over, right? Um, but yeah, then he's gonna throw a bunch of heavies at the end of the fight. Just not, not really a uh, very nice AI multiple times he just refuses to block when i'm hitting block and then there i hit block to try to get him to block he walks up and hits me and then i i uh i throw a light attack to get him to block again and he walks up and hits me so not great um but that was my only valkyrie fight so i'm not even slightly concerned as far as we're concerned here that fight went absolutely flawlessly i ended with 100 percent because i simply just don't care um, imperfections like that where you're not at actually you're not actually in any risk of losing the fight are just not important I just don't care so that fight went perfectly <laughs> um, and here is the first fight uh, that shield is taking as a rank 3 7 star not really I've been using her in offseason a lot in fact I took a bunch of Quicksilver bosses I took a rank 3 7 star Quicksilver boss in something like 70 seconds which is pretty fast, and that was also in the off season, so I was not boosted. Um, well, I was using like the 15% attack boost because they were expiring, but that's it. This is an overseer. There's not really anything to this fight. Unfortunately, overseer is going to throw his SP1 before I get to my special attack and before I get all my clarity charges. I wasn't sure if he can auto block special attacks. So I didn't go for that, and you can't go for a heavy tag during the evade phase because he can uh, evade it. It's only during the auto block phase he can't evade it. But I just decided to wait out the auto block because I'm not really concerned about the time. I know this is going to be a pretty fast fight anyways. And yeah, just the one SP1 and the fight does go down in about 35 seconds. So pretty happy with that. This here, uh, this next fight, this is my only hood fight, this Nova. So I'm not going to worry about bullets. Obviously, I don't have the synergy to give me bullets back. So I'm just going to play very liberally, just trying to take this fight down um, as clean as possible. It does not have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be fast. Um, Nova doesn't really have many buffs. He really only just has that one buff. I mean, he can gain other buffs, but not 
not often enough for it to really matter all that much. Um, we're going to throw a couple medium attacks to power steal, but basically we're just going to be taking advantage of Rich Get Richer uh, because he does not have any buffs, and we're just going to be gaining power with our decks and our invisibility. Throw in a few L2s. Uh, now, of course, I am not uh, running any MD. I don't run MD with Hood because it has messed me up too many times, so I much prefer to just use the power steal on the power backs for power control. Um, and all that stuff. I never run MD. But here we just go for a striker into a heavy. That was way overkill. Like, way, way overkill. And uh, I just don't really care because it's my only hood fight. So it was fast. It was clean. I don't really have any complaints. Here we have what could have been a very scary fight had Quicksilver chosen not to co cooperate. He is going to cooperate here. He is going to be nice for me. Um nothing really crazy about this fight just have to remember that whenever the timer's not on cooldown that you have to hit once for the evade and then parry again so that's what we're gonna do here and then we are gonna land a couple heavy attacks to get our clarity charges and not get auto blocked until we get to 10 at which point he can't evade he can't auto block and uh also that the prevention also shuts down personal evade, so we no longer have to worry about that. He does throw the SP1 into our block, unfortunately, and there I forgot to check the timer. Uh, but I didn't notice, and I kind of just panicked and threw the special. But my cleanse actually eats up the, uh, the root because I forgot that it was an active debuff. So at this point, all I'm trying to do is make him not throw any specials. The pa Power Focus 2 is actually helping me here because I'm able to hit him a lot more before he reaches 3 bars of power. Um, and I'm trying to just not let him throw 2 because if he ever does, it's more than 10 hits. So blocking it, it would just instantly go unblockable basically. But that was the end of my war. Again, like I said, I had a really short war. I just wanted to get this first video out as soon as possible. Um, I did take a break last season. I didn't upload, I believe, the last nine wars, the last eight or nine. Uh, and that's just because I had a lot going on in my life. I was very busy. But now I have a little more time. So I, I am going to commit to making war videos this season. And I'm very happy to be back because I have not made a video in about five weeks at this point. Well, I've made videos. I just haven't posted any videos. Um, I should have one or two more that I've already recorded. One more that I've already recorded. But this one will go up first. So that is going to be all. I don't know who won this war yet, but whatever is in the description will be correct. By the time this war video goes live, I will know who will win the war. And it's looking good for us so far. We've cleared about 80 fights and we have three deaths. They've cleared zero fights. They, they haven't had a single member even join war yet probably due to their time zones they're probably still sleeping and they don't plan wars until the second day which is completely understandable but yeah we're either 1-0 or 0-1 probably 1-0 because this alliance is pretty consistently platinum one um so hopefully we win but we'll see and uh my death total this season obviously at zero and my psr this season is at four out of four or 100 percent and my last death last season was in the final fight of war number 10. And I just went back in game and I checked how many fights I took in war 11 and 12. And I took a total of 11 fights. So we have an 11 streak carried over from last season. So that means our deathless streak as of the end of this war is at 15 fights. So hopefully we can build that up, have a pretty good season by my standards. And that is going to be all for today. Hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.